Hello class, my name is Jonathan Mills. I'm originally from Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, currently living in Roosevelt, Arizona in the Tano National Forest uh, across the street from Lake Roosevelt Marina. It's kind of an interesting place to live. Uh, you can't live here unless you work here. It's beautiful when it's not too hot to enjoy the beauty. Uh, I'm the water treatment operator. I uh, treat all of the water so that people have good drinking water coming out of their tap when they turn the sink on when they're here. Uh, it's mainly a vacation spot. People have some vacation homes. They're only allowed to be here for like 14 days at a time. They uh, are only allowed to be here six months out of the year. And then there's uh, campsites across the street at the marina. We have some uh, camper sites here as well. I'm the single father of a beautiful nine-year-old girl named Ariana Nicole Mills. We uh, moved to here about a year, well, a little over a year and a half ago from Hobbs, New Mexico. We were there for a couple years where I worked at a Hobby Lobby. Um, I guess uh, my best public speaking experience would have probably been when I kind of preached a mini-sermon at a Celebrate Recovery meeting in Hobbs, New Mexico. It, it seemed like a, a great experience. It seemed like a lot of people were reached and it touched a lot of lives for the Lord. And he kind of gave me the words to speak in the sermon ahead of time. And then I didn't know what I'd written it for. And then the opportunity presented itself in the moment and everything just kind of worked out. Uh, that was that was pretty nice. Just, as far as my worst public speaking experience, I guess I don't really have one that I can think of. I put some thought into this. I mean, any experience where you have to speak in public, sometimes there's some nervousness or a little uh, bit of apprehension, but, but mostly I'm a pretty outgoing guy and I tend to be a people person and get along pretty well. I guess sometimes when you speak in public, there might be uh, people who try to tear you down or and I've had situations like that of course you know and uh, those that can be challenging at times to to extend grace to people who are intentionally attacking you while you're trying to do good that can be difficult and those situations are certainly difficult but I try to see those kind of situations as learning experiences growing experiences if you will as far as what my goals are for this class I guess to kind of fine-tune and hone some of the communication skills, especially when it comes to videos, because I'm very comfortable talking in person. I've noticed a lot of times I don't do as well when when the Lord has led me into making ministry videos. Uh, I seem to be a little more nervous, I think. Uh, for me, it's easier when you can read a crowd and read the people around you and interact. That, that makes things a little bit easier for me. Um, and kind of feel the, just the vibes you get off of people and uh, the, uh, feed off of that energy. Uh, being led in the spirit, of course, as well. But that seems to be a little harder for me, a little more difficult for me on the video format. So that, that will certainly be a challenge in this class. Um, how can God use my verbal and nonverbal skills to influence others? Well, I think that, that God uses the, our skills daily in life to influence just those around us, those we work with those at the grocery store, the bank, you name it. Um, especially when we have that joy in us, you know, the joy of the Lord in us, and we go out and people see that the, the we, we're at peace in difficult situations. Uh, we, they see that joy that's reflected in us, and sometimes they wonder how we could be so joyful to, to be looking at all these different things going on in our life and these situations that surround us and wondering how somebody might still be able to come to life with such joy and such peace and I think it's a reflection of our, of our Savior and of our God and the work that he does in us and the ability that he gives us and uh, a reflection that that uh, our joy and our peace do not come from our circumstances or our situations but from our God from his Holy Spirit and from the salvation that we've found through grace in Christ. Anyway, God bless you guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video, and I'll be looking forward to seeing some of your guys. Goodbye.